Welcome collectors to this edition of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Diecast Masters 164 scale Cat D11T track type tractor with a single shank ripper, a multi shank ripper, a coal U blade, and a reclamation U blade with guard. So essentially what we have here is one D11 dozer with two different blade types and two different ripper types all chalked into one model. So this is something that the 164 scale community has been asking for for a number of years and now you guys finally have Cat's largest dozer in proper 164 scale and this is a really impressive model in the fact that you have a couple different blade options and a couple different ripper options in one specific model. It is part of the Play and Collect series, item number 85637. Comes in, as you can see, the clear open window style packaging that Diecast Masters likes to use for their 164 scale models. The back of the box has yet another picture of the machine. This, of course, has the standard blade on it. Here's your coal blade, as well as both versions of the Ripper. All right, let's get this thing unboxed and take a closer look at it. So, as you can see, you have the dozer inside the box, as well as your main blade, which is already attached. Here's your coal blade. Here's your other ripper. What you need to do first is to undo all of these twist ties. So what we're going to do, we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we'll have this dozer out of its twist tie prison, and we'll begin the model review. All right, we have the bulldozer out of the box. Now we can begin the review. There is another piece of instructional document inside the box, and that shows you how to switch out the blades and ripper, which is actually pretty straightforward on this model. You just have to use a little bit of care when you're doing it because a lot of the components are plastic, so if you do this enough, you're probably going to wear them out. So just, again, use some care when you're doing it. You want to unhook the bottom portion first, pull up on the blade, and then you can see the bottom bar right here. You also need to make sure that is connected when you are switching off the uh, blade on the main part. Now, as far as the ripper goes, the ripper just attaches by this piece right here. So it's a very simple click off and click in connection. It works quite well. All right, so let's take a look at the dozer. So you have the blade at the front, and you have the visibility perforations up on top of the blade. Now this portion is plastic, but again, that's all right, because the color match is good, and even in 164 scale, it allows you to have a very nice detail feature on top of the blade that mimics the real machine. Coming along to this side, the tracks are rubber, but again, in black, they look good. There is a noticeably large screw head on the blade frame, Again, maybe that could do with a little bit of cat yellow to hide that discreetly. Another working feature on the dozer is the fold-down access stair, which allows the operator to gain access into the cab. Pull down on that carefully, and as you can see, that just about reaches the ground. When the operator has gained entry into his workspace for the shift, you can click that back out of service. Coming along to the back of the dozer, you have two fire suppression tanks, the large ripper on the back. This side, again, your CAT logo, your D11T, twin air cleaners, twin exhausts, as you can see up on top. Your same tracks. Once again, your blade detail along your cutting edge. Underneath, very similar. You can see that even on the rubber tracks, there is some bolt detailing that has been included to give it some depth. Let's move now on to functionality. First off, if we push down, maybe a little bit hard to see, but even on a surface with absolutely no friction, the tracks will roll. You do have to apply a pretty good amount of pressure, but they will roll. And I'm sure they will roll much better on a surface with friction. On to the made blade functionality. You can lift the blade comfortably up to about there. You can tilt it to about there, and it will go down to a reasonable depth of just below the machine to there. Moving towards the rear of things, 
The ripper can also be posed below the machine, although it is not strong enough to hold the machine off the ground. And if you're careful, you can pose the ripper tilted at a slight angle to the left or to the right. as seen here. All right, now let's take a look at what the dozer looks like with the other blade on the machine. Okay, so now we have installed the other blade on the machine, the JEL blade, the large coal blade. So as you can see, a much larger blade, a lot more room inside, so many would call this a carry dozer blade myself included. It has the same style of visibility perforations up on top. You'll notice it's all completely black, whereas the other blade had yellow on the inside of it. As you can see, it weighs a little bit more, but you can still raise it up to a height of here. And you can still lower it to about here. Here's the other ripper as well on this machine can go down to there. Now, let's take the ripper off just to show you how that's done. You unclick it here, and then you pull straight out. Like that. Next, let's take the blade off. That's a little bit harder to do because you gotta do this very carefully and make sure you're unhooking this portion as well. So pull the bar out, just like this. And there you go. Now, you can change and put other blades on your machine. So with this ripper off, let's now put this ripper on. Do the exact same thing in reverse. Put the top portions on, click them in, boom. And click over the bottom, just like that. She's on there. Now, instead of this blade, We'll put this blade on, do the same thing in reverse. Click the bottom portion in, make sure that's got a nice tight fit. Click your bottom, first, second, then click over your top, which I know is harder to see. Boom. And all right, make sure it's lined up. Click it in on this side as well. You'll hear the click. Last thing you need to do, make sure your hydraulic lines are lined up, your cylinders for your blade. Push them down till you hear the click. Right there. And you are all set. There you go. So, that's my review of the Diecast Masters Caterpillar D11T in 164 scale. This is a pretty exciting model to have in 164 scale with the options to change out the blade and to change out the ripper. It is also extremely affordable. So, if you are looking for a mining sized D11 dozer in 164 scale. Now you finally have this option afforded to you. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next review.